let's get this out of the way. Um, um, this is basically a tutorial on uh, how to decipher some information from a uh, subnet mask. Uh, and if you don't know what a subnet mask is, then you're probably in the wrong place. Uh, this is for uh, advanced Cisco students who are about to take their CCNA. Um, so here's our subnet mask. I'm going to show you a pretty simple way to arrive at uh, how to decipher that information. Uh, pretty much you just have to burn these numbers right here in your head. Uh, these are very simple to arrive at. I mean that's 1 through 8. Don't take uh, you know, an advanced uh, programmer to figure that out. That's 1 through 8. This is pretty pretty much simple too. It's just one doubled back each time. So double one is two, double two doubled is four, four doubled is eight, eight doubled is sixteen, and as you can see so on and so forth. Once you get down to here you drop your one twenty eight down and if you take this number one twenty eight and add it to this number 128 and 64, 128 plus 64 equals 192. Same. Same thing diagonally, if you take 192 plus 32, that's going to give you 224, and so on. So 224, 16 is 240. You get it now? Okay, good. It's very important because these numbers right here need to become like your you know, uh, extended fingers. 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, 255. These need to be burned in your mind. I cannot stress that enough. And you'll see why. Okay, or you can just jot this down on a scratch piece of paper um, when you get there. <laughs> uh, so, either way you want to do it. It's easier this way. Uh, so, 255. We, we see now that this is a Class B network, right? A, B, C, it's pretty easy to remember, uh, but because uh, this portion is the only one that has all of them turned on, we know that that's the network portion, and this is the host portion, okay? And uh, what we're trying to figure out is how many bits were borrowed from the host portion, right, uh, to create this subnet mask. So well, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, it's pretty easy, it, we, we already realized that you should realize that this whole thing is just a 32-bit system, okay? It's 32 bits. It's made up of 32 bits broken into fours. There's one octet, or one uh, set of eight bits. There's a second set of eight bits, third set of eight bits, and a fourth set of eight bits, okay? Binarily, uh, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, there's your 255 and your 255. Now we want to know how much of this is going to, how many bits you got to turn on to make it 254. Well, pretty simple now that you got your little uh, cheat sheet up here. Uh, if you look right up above it, this top number over 254 is how many bits need to be turned on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, seven bits needed to be turned on. That means there's going to be one turned off in that octet, and then the rest are zero. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your binary uh, version of this number right there. All right. And from here on out, it's really simple addition um, for the most part. Uh, so we know that there's 8 bits, 16 bits, 16 plus 7 is 23, right? So that's how we know what our cider is. That's simple. That's our cider, 23. It's how many bits are turned on for network use. That's what that is, 23. See? Now to find out how many hosts, uh, it's equally simple because there's only 32 bits in there, right? 
Uh, if we go back here, well, let's just go down here. You know, uh, 32 minus 23. Okay. 32 minus uh, 23 is 9, right? I mean, it's that simple. Uh, that's how many hosts bits were used, and you can just look at it over here too. I mean, there were eight, and here's how many left over. That's all they're asking for. How many left over? I don't have a very good control of my highlighter, but there it is. Nine bits are left over. Okay. So I mean, let's just look so far. We're gonna put slash 23, and we're gonna put nine right here. Now to get how many hosts are possible on this network, we're gonna use this formula right here. Okay. You should know that as well. Very critical to your subnetting career. And here, n just represents how many hosts were left over. Okay? So to figure this out, uh, we're just going to pull up our calculator here. Okay? And we're going to put in 2 to the ninth power minus... 2 equals 510. So, uh, I'll come over here and put in 510 possible hosts, check it, and as you can see, we are evil geniuses. Uh, so, that concludes this uh, enlightening and uh, uh, let me stop. That's the end of the tutorial.